After three eternities, Volition finally released another Saints Row reboot trailer. And you know what? Despite it not really blowing me away at any point of its 2 minutes and 11 seconds runtime, it still felt like the pinnacle of trailers for this reboot. You know, it felt like this is probably the best, most well-executed piece of marketing so far, because the trailer focuses on what makes the series so great. The insanity. Purple. The rival gangs and their respective attitudes and personalities, and naturally, the feeling of being a metaphorical criminal god of badassery and chaos. Screenshots here for reference, full trailer linked in the description video, yada 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 yada, same as usual. The new gameplay trailer starts off as we'd all expect, slow camera pans of the desert areas surrounding Santo Eleso. Truly majestic shot of that huge panther rock thing there in the background. Before we get a few more city shots, and by that I mean footage perhaps closer to the actual city itself instead of out there where the cacti and UV rays will tear your flesh asunder. Hell, the shot is actually inside the city. It's a nice slow transition there, whoever was responsible for the direction of this trailer, starting far out in the desert, then moving a little bit closer to the city before taking us all the way inside. Exquisite build-up, truly. Santa Beleso looks pretty nice, don't you think? I've said this from the start, but even though it may just look like Sand Central at a first glance, the amount of environmental diversity seemingly present within and surrounding the city is such a breath of fresh air from Steelport. You know, even if it was just sand everywhere and tumbleweeds as far as the eye could see, I'd still be thankful for a drastic change in scenery. But, alas, the serenity cannot last for long in a Saints Row game. We're pulled by the balls back down to reality with the next shot thrusting us into footage of firing at a cop car from the roof of another automobile. I've talked about this before and we've seen this feature already. Nothing new to report here, sadly. By the way, I don't know if you all were aware of this, but in Santa Elisa, you either have power or you want it. That sweet, sweet succulent power. But before you'll be able to snatch that power and manipulate it towards your own ends and goals, there are unfortunately a few hurdles for the big bad boss to overcome. The biggest of which are another Saints Row staple, the rival gangs. We get some more incredibly brief slices of footage of Los Panteros, the Idols, and Marshall. The more I see of them, the more they feel unique and not just slight variations on previous titles gangs, so that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and bravely assume this is the entrance to your Saints HQ, which thank you God in heaven actually looks really good. Look at that determined walk displayed by you and all the other main Saints. This is probably the most intimidating the boss has looked up until now. But there's one element that this trailer definitely brings to the table in copious amounts, and that's the madness the series is known for as you can no doubt tell from these screenshots. And what would madness be without the wingsuit? I like the shot of you gliding between these two dinosaur statue necks. There's really not much that can be said about the majority of the rest of this trailer, as it's literally just a PowerPoint slideshow of messing around in Santa Eliso, blowing shit up and causing severe discomfort and death to as many NPCs as possible. I will say that this looks like a slight variant on the trailblazing activity because this car bursts into flames the second the player's car makes contact with it, and this mascot slash costumed individual meets his maker at the hands of a speeding motorist. Also, hoverboard. Look at the sandbox full of toys, ladies and gentlemen. No matter your opinion on this game, I think we can all look at each other from across the picnic blanket and agree that at least it looks fun as hell to mess around within the game world. I'd also really love to know the circumstances surrounding the launching of this stylish cannon. The boss does something here to this crate. Uh, by the way, I can't tell what exactly is transpiring, so if any sharp-eyed eagles are out there, feel free to relay this info in the form of a comment. Oh yeah, I don't think I've, I've, I've seen a single health bar in this trailer. Well, I do still think it'll uh, be a toggleable feature. It's good to see that Volition realized nobody wants to see that shit in a trailer like this. Towards the end of the video, we get some extremely brief blink and you'll miss it shots of some of the character customization options we can expect for our boss. And this, this snake helmet, man, that's something I'll probably shove on my boss's head as soon as it's available because goddamn does it look fantastic. And if that's not to your taste, I'm sure the game has tons of options available to suit your idea of hot and sexy fashion. We got some more, I have no idea what the hell is happening clips. Uh, the highlight for me at least was the shot right here where the boss looks 
potential death in the face and says, I don't care, I need to feel the wind on my face. That huge pyramid-esque building in the background. It's just illustrating the variety on show within Santa Relaso's infrastructure and architecture, and it still makes me tingle with excitement. You're also able to kick enemies a decent distance upon landing after your wing gliding excursion, and while you're at it, why not follow that up with a lovely fireworks display? Perfection! Transition to the release date, and that is the new gameplay trailer in a nutshell. Sorry if this wasn't massively informative, but the thing about this trailer is that there's barely anything that sticks out as new or worth diving into detail about. It's just a collage of explosions and pretty visuals, which is fine. The sole purpose of this trailer was to get people hyped up and to look forward to the game when it comes out next year. And I'm not gonna lie, this has been quite the journey for me. I'm sure many of you as well. I've gone from not caring about the game to raising my eyebrows and slowly nodding my head to having some semblance of excitement. Although the cautious optimism has never left, and that's something that will never leave, regardless of the game I'm talking about, keep your expectations low while letting the excitement slowly sink into your skin. That's the right, that's the right formula for anticipating a game, I think. Anyway, that's that. I predict yet another Saints Row news dry spell, but who knows? Those crazy sons of bitches may surprise us yet. And until the next video, I need to go turn on every fan in the house and open every window because it is hot as hell!